Welcome back guys. Today we are going to dig into the ATS once more. And today we are going to take a look at can you wire this up in such a way without extra stuff so that you have priority for grid or solar system. Yes, you can do that. So let's take a look at that. But when doing this you need to be aware of that when switching between one or the other the only difference here or the only delay is the mechanical delay when the ones, the first one triggers the other one and then when it pushes in actually disables the other one and it switches over. So basically you only have the mechanical blocking and the mechanical delay between switching between one grid to the other grid or to the solar system. I have the solar incoming grid here, I have the grid here. And here I have the two contactors. Solar incoming on this side and grid incoming on that side. So that depends on who is the mandatory one. If I turn one on, it turns on. The other one, that one turns on. So let's say you have the grid on. What will happen if you turn the solar on? It will then switch to the solar instead and the grid turns off. If the solar goes off again, it switches back to the grid. And that's how it works. So if grid goes down when the solar is up, nothing will happen as you can see here. It will only switch between the solar and grid if grid is available. So if you have solar and the grid is not available and solar disappears, it shuts off the contactor totally and you are disconnected. So how does this work? This is pretty simple because solar is always connected to the contactor. So there is no electrical disconnection or electrical break on the solar. No matter what, the solar will try to put this contactor on. And this is both good or bad, because if this contactor here hangs, this one will try to start anyways, no matter if this one is on or not. On the other hand, when this one shuts off, the power goes directly through the contact or the relay part here and starts the other one. If you want schematics for this, take a look at the downside and I have drawn it up on how to connect this up. So let's take this one step further. Can you with a simple switch make it possible so you can select if solar or the grid should be the first choice of usage? Yes you can. If it's legal or not. As once again, you need to check where you live and with your regulations. But this is how it's connected up. And uh, sorry for the mess, but check the drawings down below and that will hopefully clear it up a little bit. I only had this switch here, so I'm using this breaker switch here. And this can switch between one or two. Uh, that means with the input one or two. And that will either disable or enable the contacts on the side. Currently, we have grid and solar connected. We turn off solar, it goes to grid. We turn off grid, nothing happens. We switch to zero, both are shut off. We switch to number one, and we will see now that grid is the one that is ongoing. Turn solar on, nothing happens. Turn grid off, it switches to solar again. So now we are in grid priority mode. And that will be solar priority mode. So this is one way to do it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this shows that you can do this simple measurement with pretty decent stuff. What you need to be aware of that these contactors here will draw power all around. So you need to have contactors that are made for 24-7. And as I said before, you need to have it approved in your area so you can run it like that. Because in most places, first of all, you are not allowed to switch neutral, then you're going to use the three phases only. But for some inverters you need to switch the neutral as well. So that's one thing to think about. Next one said before is that you need to have delay between switching. Because what if your grid power starts to flicker? That's what's going to happen. You may have something that goes around all the time flickering back and forth. And that's what you have the delay for. Because if grid goes down and it comes back again, you will have a delay that delays it. I have also linked in automatic system for that purpose. So once again guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, 
please make sure to do that and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!